Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang Joint and Combined Variation. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung another types of variation which are the joint and combined variation. So, meron na akong naunang video about introduction sa variation, particularly yung other two types of variations, which are the direct and inverse variation. So, ano nyo pa napapanood, isilink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Okay? So, ngayon is dumako tayo sa joint and combined variation. So, let's start with joint variation. So, ano ba ang joint variation? So, sabi, a variation in which the quotient of a variable and the product of two variables is a constant. Or we will have the statement, y varies jointly as x and z, then y is proportional to xc, or y is equal to kxc, where k is the constant of variation. So, sabi kapag joint variation daw yung quotient of a variable and the product of two variables is a constant. So, ito yung magiging keyword natin sa pag-determine ng joint variation. Y varies jointly as the two variables x and z. In symbol, ito siya. Yung formula natin or equation will be y is equal to k times xz. So, directly proportional siya pareho sa product nitong x at z. So, itong k siya yung constant of variation just like dun sa mga naunang uh, na-discuss yung variation such as direct and inverse. Okay? So, bakit sinabi na yung quotient daw of a variable and a product of two variables is a constant? Kasi using this equation for joint variation, pag divide natin to both sides by xz, so makakancel si xz sa right, magiging k is equal to y over xz. So, itong y na parang nagsilbing dependent variable natin over yung product ng dalawang independent variable, let's say na x saka z, will be constant yung kanilang quotient. So, kaya, the quotient of a variable and the product of two variables is a constant. Kasi y over xz is equal to constant. So, para ma-illustrate natin yung concept at formula for joint variation, ay eh, mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, for the first one, we have, find an equation of variation where a varies jointly as b and c, and a is equal to 24 when b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 3. Find the value of A when B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4. Okay, so from the word itself, meron tayong A varies jointly as B and C. So therefore, gagamitin natin yung equation for joint variation. Kanina, ano siya? A is equal to K times BC, right? So isosolve ngayon muna natin yung K na constant of variation. Kasi given tayo daw na A is 24 when B is 2 and C is 3. So substitute natin ngayon dito sa equation. So, A is 24 equals K times B, 2, times C na 3. So, parang we have 24 is equal to K times 2 times 3 is 6K. To solve for K, divide both sides by 6. We have K is equal to 24 divided by 6 or 4. So, therefore, ipa-plug in ngayon natin tong K na 4 dito sa formula. Yung A equals KBC. So, magiging A is equal to 4BC. So, ito na ngayon yung equation natin for the joint variation. A is equal to 4BC. So, kahit anong value plugin natin dito, masasolve natin yung another variable. So, let's say, sabi daw, find the value of A when B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4. So, plugin lang natin ngayon dito sa equation yung value na B na 3, tsaka C na 4 para masolve si A. So, A will be equal to 4 times B na 3 times C na 4. So, therefore, A is equal to 4 times 3 times 4 or 48. Okay? So, therefore, 48 is the answer. Next, we have the area of a rectangle varies jointly as the length and the width. And A is equal to 48 square centimeter when L is equal to 12 centimeter and W is equal to 2 centimeter. Find the area of the rectangle whose length is 15 centimeter and whose width is 3 centimeter. Okay, so joint variation ulit kasi meron tayong keyword na varies jointly. 
So, sabi, yung area daw, denoted by A, varies jointly. So, K times the length and the width. Kasi jointly as the length and width. So, K times L and W. So, therefore, pwede natin mahanap ngayon muna si K by plugging in yung mga given values. So, A daw is 48 square centimeter when L is 12 centimeter and W is 2 centimeter. So, substitute natin. A is 48 equal K times L is 12 times W is 2. So, therefore, we have 48 is equal to K times 12 times 2 is 24. K. Then, divide both sides by 24 to solve for K. We have K is equal to 48 divided by 24 is 2. So, therefore, our equation will be A is equal to K na 2 times LW. So, ito gagamitin natin ngayon para mahanap yung required ng problem na find the area daw of the rectangle whose length is 15 cm and width is 3 cm. So, substitute natin. A will be 2 times Yung given length daw is 15 times yung given width is 3. So, therefore, we have 2 times 15 times 3 is 90. The unit is square centimeter. So, therefore, the area is 90 square centimeter. Okay? Next, pumunta na tayo sa second type of variation in this video which is combined variation. So, sabi, a combined variation is a variation in which the quotient of the product of two variables and a variable is a constant. Or we will have the statement, if y varies directly as x and inversely as z, then in symbol, y is proportional to x over z or y is equal to k times x over z. So, itong combined variation from the word itself, parang combination siya ng direct at inverse variation. Kasi, sabi dito, yung y daw magbabaris directly as x but inversely naman as z. So, ito nga yung equation natin. y is equal to k, yung constant of variation, varies directly. So, di ba kapag directly, nasa taas. And then, kapag inversely as z, so, di ba kapag inversely, nasa baba or denominator. So, kaya x over Z. So, multiply with K as the constant of variation. So, sabi din na a variation daw na to is yung quotient of the product of two variables and a variable is a constant. Bakit? Kasi using this equation for this variation, let's say, multiply natin both sides by Z. So, magiging YZ is equal to, cancel si Z sa right, magiging KX. Then, divide both sides by x. So, magiging, cancel sa x sa right, magiging k na lang is equal to yz over x. So, kaya, sabi yung quotient tau, yung product of two variables. So, let's say, ito yun, di ba, yung yz, divided by yung another variable, let's say, x, is constant k. Kasi, yz over x is constant k. Okay? So, ito yung ating combined variation. Combination ng direct at inverse variation. Okay? So, para may illustrate ulit natin yung concept at formula for combined variation ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, we have find an equation of variation where A varies directly as B and inversely as C and A is equal to 15 when B is equal to 20 and C is equal to 40. Find B when A is equal to 18 and C is equal to 20. Okay, so combined variation siya kasi combination siya ng Direct variation tsaka inverse variation. So, ang ginamit na variable is A and B, C. So, parang A will be equal to constant of variation K times directly daw siya sa B. So, times B and inversely as C. So, over C. Okay. So, therefore, we have A is equal to KB over C. Now, sa ulit natin muna si K by plugging in the given values. So, we have A daw is 15 equal K times B daw is 20 over C daw is 40. So, we have 1 fifth is equal to K times 20 over 40 or 1 half, right? So, therefore, multiply na lang natin both sides by 2 para masolve si K. So, sa right, cancel si 2. K na lang. And then, 2 times 15 sa left, we have 30. So, therefore, the value of constant of variation is 30. So, i-plug in na natin ngayon dito sa given equation. We have A is equal to K na 30 times B over C. So, parang ito yung magiging equation of variation natin for the combined variation. Now, ang pinapahanap daw is find the value of B when A is equal to 18 and C is equal to 
20. So, plug in lang natin yung mga values na na-derive natin equation of variation. So, A daw is 18, right? 18 is equal to 30 times B yung unknown over C na given is 20. So, ilan to? So, we have 18 is equal to 30 over 20 is 3 halves, right? 3 halves times B. So, to solve for B, pwedeng multiply ko by 2. Cancel si 2 sa, tight magiging 3B. Then, 2 times 18 is 36. Then, divide ko naman both sides by 3. Para masolve si B, we have 36 divided by 3 is 12. So, therefore, the value of B is 12. Okay? Next, we have the resistance to the flow of electricity through a wire depends on the length and thickness of the wire. The resistance R is measured in ohms and varies directly as the length L and inversely as the square of its diameter D. If a wire 200 feet long with diameter of 0.16 inch has a resistance of 64 ohms, how much resistance will there be if only 50 feet of wire is used? Okay, so meron daw tayong resistance na denote as variable R na measured in ohms tapos varies directly daw siya as the length L. So therefore, we have the constant of proportionality K. So directly, so times L and then inversely as the square. So, so over is square daw of its diameter D. So D squared. So combined variation siya kasi combination ng direct variation siya inverse variation. So this time nga lang, yung nasa denominator natin is meron lang added exponent na 2 kasi sabi is square of its diameter D. So parang ito yung magiging equation of variation natin. So hanapin natin muna yung constant of variation K. So sabi, if a wire 200 feet long, so yung length niya is 200 feet, so R is equal to K times 200 feet, right? So 200 yung length over diameter of 0.16. So, 0.16 so squared has a resistance of 64 ohms. So, dapat equal daw siya sa 64. So, using this uh, values, masasab natin si K. So, we have K will be multiply natin both sides by 0.16 squared. So, 0.16 squared din sa right. So, makakancel. Magiging 200K times 64 times 0 0.16 squared, right? And then, para masalap si K, divide both sides by 200. So, therefore, K will be 64 times 0 0.16 squared over 200. So, using calculator, anong value nito? Okay, to be exact, fraction siya na may value na 1, 2, 8 over 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. Okay? So, siya si K. So, palitan na ngayon natin yung value ng K nito dito sa equation. So, R is equal to 1, 2, 8 over 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. Siya si K, right? And then, times L over D squared. Okay? So, ngayon, may tanong. Ano raw yung resistance kapag ang ginamit lang daw na length is 50 feet of wire? So, gamitin na natin itong nabong equation. So, hanapin natin si R when L daw is 50 feet. So, wala tayong given na D kasi i-assume natin na constant naman yung ating D. So, therefore, pag pinlagi natin dito, yung D dapat 0.16 pa rin. Okay? Kasi yung vinari lang natin is yung length. So, therefore, we have 128 over 15625 times length daw na magiging 50 feet na lang over same D na 0.16 then squared. So, using calculator, magiging ano yung resistance natin? 16 ohms. Okay, so therefore, the resistance is 16 ohms when we use 50 feet of wire. Okay? Next, we have R varies jointly as S and T and inversely as U. If R is equal to 3 over 28, when S is equal to 10, T is equal to 3, and U is equal to 56, find R when S is equal to 6, T is equal to 7, and U is equal to 84. Okay, so this time, combination siya ng joint at combined variation. Kasi sabi, yung R daw varies jointly as S and T. So, di ba ano yun? K times ST. 
and then inversely para as u. So, over u pa. Okay? So, solve natin ngayon si k. So, sabi, if r daw is 3 over 28, so 3 over 28 equals k, s daw is 10, times t daw is 3, over u daw is 56. Okay? So, solve ngayon natin dito si k. So, parang 3 over 28 is equal to k times 10 times 3 is 30 over 56. So, we have multiply both sides by 56. So, cancel dito si 56 sa right. Magiging k times 30. Then, 56 times 3 over 28. Then, divide naman natin both sides by 30. We have k is equal to. So, 56 times 3 over 28 divided by 30 pa. So, parang nasa denominator siya. So, therefore, anong value ni k? Using calculator, 56 times 3 over 28 times 30. So, k is 1 fifth. Okay, so, ngayon, sabi natin dito sa equation. So, r is equal to 1 fifth st over u. So, ang pinapahanap is, ano daw si r? When s is 6, t is 7, and u is 84. So, plug in na lang natin. r is 1 fifth times s na 6, t na 7, and u na 84. So, ano ngayon si r? 1 fifth times 6 times 7 over 84. Equal to 1 over 10. Okay? So, ayun lang yung concept natin for combined and joint variation. So, basically, mayroon lang silang formula. And then, just like sa direct and inverse variation, hahanapin nyo lang lagi muna yung constant of proportional to our variation. Then, mabubuo nyo yung pinaka-equation nung joint at combined variation. Then, whatever value of variables na given, i-plug in nyo lang para mahanap yung required na variable doon sa variation. Okay? So, that's it for this video. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.